air. His memorial will also happen tomorrow. Nevada is back in the red zone for new coronavirus cases. To help flatten that curve, the state wants people to download its contact tracing app. Fox 5's Enzo Marino is live at Elysian Stadium with a look at how performers are promoting the cause. That's right, John. Allegiant Stadium was the sort of last stop on this uh, campaign that they were doing today. And we actually just heard that the number of downloads for the COVID trace app tripled today. And state officials tell me this campaign is a major reason why. What they want people to do is to download the COVID trace app. This is um, it's a contact tracing app developed by the Department of Health and Human Services to track the spread of the virus. They're also encouraging people to mask up. The performers started this morning at the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. Performers showed up, got out of their cars, and performed We Are a Family in both English and Spanish. The parade included display trucks and limousines sort of driving all throughout the city of Las Vegas, stopping at Caesars Palace, T-Mobile Arena, and grocery stores, local grocery stores. The performers involved in the campaign are especially invested in curbing the spread of the virus. They say they've been out of work for months and want to get back to performing in the entertainment capital of the world. The more that we can get people to wear a mask, do COVID tracing, the more that we can get the results down, the more casinos and presidents and governors are willing to get us open and get us all back to work and having a good time because we want to entertain and make you all have a great time. And the campaign will also visit other parts of the state, Lake Tahoe, Carson City on Friday. These performers will be in Reno. Reporting live, I'm Enzo Marino, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. The Southeast has been battling one of the busiest hurricane seasons ever, all in the midst of a pandemic. The 27th storm of the season, Hurricane Zeta, just made land.